Hey Brahmas, in this tutorial we will showcase the database titled Opposing Viewpoints. Let's begin in the library's homepage and then click on databases A through Z on the left hand side. Since we already know the name of the database, we're going to click on the letter O and identify the one called Opposing Viewpoints. If you're off campus, our webpage will ask you for your student ID number and your month and date of birth to have access to all of our databases. Once you log in, this is what the front page of Opposing Viewpoints looks like. You can scroll down and look at some of their featured topics. All of these topics are controversial or debatable in nature. To look at the full list of all of their topics, you can click on Browse All or at this light bulb icon and now you will see the full list of all of the topics for which they already have research and sources gathered for you. Let's pretend that we are interested in the topic related to Bitcoin, the digital currency. I'm gonna go to the letter B because I would assume that if they did they might have something under the heading Bitcoin. In this case I don't really see that but at this point I can think broadly about my topic and maybe think of a different phrase that would include that topic and I have found that in this case they do have a topic related to Bitcoin but they have named it digital currency now I found this heading but if I hadn't found it I could have easily typed Bitcoin at the top of the search bar to see what sources I would get. But since I have found digital currency, I clicked on that topic and now I can see the front page for this research report that this database already has. Now, this first paragraph is the beginning of an introductory article to this issue. And if you click on this, you will open up the full article and you would see what the summary of this topic is. So for example here I see a heading of early digital currency, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is a keyword that I hadn't thought about before so I might take a note of that and add it to my list of keywords about my topic. Using cryptocurrency and that's it. This article is not that long but presumably it will give me an overview of this issue and why it's controversial in the first place. Now, if I wanted to read this later or use this article as one of my sources in my research, it would make sense to send it to myself so that I can keep track of it and organize this. For this article, we recommend to email yourself the articles that you like and up here in the paper plane looking icon, you can click on send to and any working email address would work and our database will send you a link to come back to this database the full text of the article as HTML or a PDF attachment and it will also send you by default the MLA 8th citation style for this article Now, on the right-hand side, if you're still brainstorming about your topics, this database suggests similar topics, and this can be useful in terms of gathering related keywords, such as cryptocurrency, or maybe we are more interested in e-commerce, or consumer behavior online, or data encryption. So as you start your research, keep in mind that the sources that you, look, that you look at might help you brainstorm or even help you evolve your research question because you might encounter re research that gives you an outlook that you hadn't thought about before. Now I came back to the beginning page of my issue, Digital Currency. And even though I had clicked upon the introductory article, now I want to show you this grayish bar that has 
various different types of sources. So all of these sources are related to our main topic, digital currency, but you can see the diversity of these sources. We have things like academic journals and statistics and newspapers and magazines. So if you needed a source from an academic article, I mean an academic journal, you could look through all the ones here that are in some way related to digital currency. Now the topics might be a little bit scattered so if you need something to focus them you can always click on this little box on the right hand side that says search within. What this would do is it would look through all the 50 academic journal articles found here and it would filter them according to a particular keyword. So let's say once again that I was only interested in crypto, I mean in, in Bitcoin, as my topic within digital currency. So by using this, kit, um, this keyword, I'm going to submit that within the search within box. And out of the 50 academic articles, 30 of them were filtered because 30 of them already had the word Bitcoin in it. Now, this doesn't guarantee me that all of these articles are going to be exclusively about Bitcoin. It just means that they contain the word Bitcoin somewhere in the text. If you click on Viewpoints, this database will show you a unique set of articles that are rather short but not entirely objective because the point of this category in Viewpoints is to show you essays that argue a different point of view. So even by the title of these articles, you can infer that these articles are already arguing for some slanted uh, perspective on the topic, such as Bitcoin promotes equality and freedom. That already sounds like this article would promote Bitcoin, as opposed to an article that would not promote it at all or even argue against it. By clicking on the title once again, you can see quickly some of the headings that might give you an idea of what this article is about. And usually they're not terribly long. And of course these articles are reliable and credible because they're coming from one of our databases. And once again you can email it to yourself or if you just need the citation quickly, you can click on cite and by default it will show give you the MLA 8th style citation for this one article. And if I go back to my viewpoints, I can keep on looking for other short articles. Maybe one that is against Bitcoin, such as this one. With or without government regulation, Bitcoin is pointless. Well, that one doesn't sound like it might be entirely against Bitcoin, but I assume you get the point. So this database is great if you are starting your research and you know that your assignment or your topic is related to a controversial or societal problem that is debatable or might have different perspectives. And this database can be really useful if your topic falls along one of these issues for which they already have research and sources on. And if your topic for some reason doesn't fall along the headings of this list, keep in mind that this is just one of many databases that we have and we still have other databases or resources that can provide you with research on your topic. So please don't feel discouraged if you do not see your topic covered in this list.